Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to play Capcom Play System 3 games on your PS Vita. So these games basically are for the Dreamcast and for the Capcom arcade machines. So what you guys want to do just to get this working, you will need to have the portable Final Burn Alpha emulator. I will leave a link to that video in the description so you guys can install it. But before that, just get your PS Vita, open up Vita Shell, and then once Vita Shell finally loads, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and then I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on my computer, I will leave a link to the emulator in the description. I've already actually done a video on it. Um, you guys can just find it or you can watch this video just to learn how to install it. And basically guys, with this emulator, we can play the Capcom Play System free game. So I'll be showing you how to do that. So this is the game I chose to play. Um, it's called Street Fighter 3 Second Impact. You guys can find any Capcom Play System free game. I'm pretty sure all of them should work. Um, but if you scroll down, I just brought up the Wikipedia page. You can see that the platforms that this works on um, are like arcade machines and then the Dreamcast. So this is basically playing Dreamcast games on our PS Vita. And as you guys probably know, or if you don't know, there isn't actually a Dreamcast emulator for the PS Vita yet. And I don't think there ever will be. So this is probably the best chance um, of ever playing Dreamcast games on our PS Vita. So you will need to find the ROM of the game of your choice. I won't be leaving a link to those in the description. But once you have your ROM, you should um, download it and then it should be in your downloads folder so here is mine street fighter 3 uh, second impact so what i'm going to do is right click select copy go onto my ps vita now you want to go inside of the data folder and now you want to find your um, folder for the emulator it's just called pfba just like this so go into the folder go into the roms folder and just right click and paste your rom in here so as you can see i've already got a copy so i'm just going to replace it real quick and now once your Capcom Play System 3 ROMs are copied across, that is pretty much it for the PC. So you can now disconnect your PS Vita and I will show you guys the best settings and how to play the games. Alright guys, so back onto your PS Vita. You can completely close out of Vita Shell because we don't need this anymore. And you just want to find your emulator and then open it. So here is mine, Portable Final Burn Alpha. Just press X and then X again to start it up. Now it should scan and it should find your ROM. If it doesn't, what you want to do is just press the start button and then where it says show all at the top, you want to scroll across until it gets onto working and then press start again and then you'll be able to find it. So if I scroll down on my list, uh, mine's actually come up here, Street Fighter 3 Second Impact. And um, before we launch the game, you actually want to press the select button. You want to go into emulation and just press X. Now for the scaling, you want to change this until it's on full. For filtered, keep that on point. Effect, leave that on none. Show FPS, turn that to on. And that's it. You can now press select again. And then select again to go back. And now you want to press X to start up your ROM. So just press X on it. Then give it a few seconds because it needs to load the programs. So most Capcom Play System 3 ROMs work. The newer ones are laggier than others. As you can see the run I've got right here, this was actually um, made in 1997. So 20 years old, I think. No, 21 years old. So yeah, pretty old game. But um, obviously it's still pretty hard um, to emulate. I did try emulating this on the PSP and it was really laggy. So we can emulate these on PS Vita pretty well. I will show you the gameplay. And the sound is okay as well. I don't think there's any sound glitches, um, but I'll show you what I mean. The sound does sound a bit weird actually. So you just press select on this part. Now there's actually something cool in the menu. If you um, just keep on pressing select, you can see the credits are actually going up and you can press press start to play. So let's just select a character and then just get into a quick match. And let's just choose this person here. So I'm just going to turn up the volume a bit. The sound does work, but um, it sounds 
maybe a tiny bit slower than usual. I can't really work it out. But just something isn't quite right about it. And also guys, if you take a look just at the top here, and that will be the FPS counter. And we're running about 30 FPS out of 60. So obviously not perfect, but 30 FPS is, you know, definitely playable. Um, we can play games at 30 FPS without really any problems. Like I could happily play the game like this. It's not really that laggy. Um, but the sound does sound a bit like a tiny bit laggy. I don't know if you guys can hear that right now. Maybe I'll just turn it up a bit louder. So if you see what I mean, the punches just don't really sound right, but the game does run, and obviously this is a Dreamcast game, so it's kind of surprising that this is running on the PS Vita anyway. So yeah, it's, it's actually pretty cool, and it's definitely playable. When I play these games, I tend not to leave the sound on, just because, you know, it's not really um, something ideal. I'd rather just listen to music and play it. But yeah, you guys get the idea. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.